I made a demo board. I did? With sent you. It's called Evil Board. There we go. <laughs> Evil Board. <laughs> yes. Um. We're not going to put this on YouTube because uh, this is this is deep secret stuff. Um, okay. Secret <laughs> prep. <laughs> uh, the dark arts. Now, something you noticed in your last comment. You were making uh, notes during our lecture. Yeah. And you were putting them in the message area. Oh. Oops. So right above that, there's a move comments area. Yeah. Which will make it much easier to navigate your notes because they actually show up like on the variation tree on the branch that you want. Oh. And they'll disappear if you move away from that branch. So it, you know, all this, all the lines and symbols and stuff will be properly as associated with it. Oh. Um, that's how you do written reviews on, on OGS. I, a written review is you, you know, you mark stuff and write stuff in the move comments. And when you move through it, the move comments will tell you exactly at the right spot, exactly what you want to know. Oh, um, with the move comment, you have to get into a variation, I guess, before you can just click in there. Because you can't just click in there directly and type. Uh, is what it looks like on my screen. But you can, you can, oh, I, I, oh, maybe only I can do it right now because I'm the one in charge of the review, right? Because I can say, ha, ha. Can, can you see that? Uh, no. Right. Well, maybe it'll only turn up after I've actually done something. Um, no, but, sure. okay. I, I can add stuff, um, and, uh, I can, like, if you want to add stuff, I'll, let me know and I'll... I'll give you control or stuff. That's that's the right place to add commentary. Um, if you want to add comments in like the the other place too, that's fine. But we're gonna be looking at Joseki, so we're gonna have like sixteen different versions of like Move Five. So, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm excited. So, um, I think we agreed that the, the the plan was we're gonna talk about these Takamoku points. As black or white? Uh, either one. Doesn't matter. Um, yeah, you can play them as either one. Um, but I mean, we were mostly interested in finding you something that works for white. Uh, yeah. But you can definitely play this stuff as black. I prefer to learn something as white, so yeah. <laughs> black, I feel a lot more comfortable with it. Like uh, if I want this to isn't like, a yeah. whole board strategy specifically. It can be. I mean, you can definitely, you know, do either this kind of stuff or, or this kind of stuff hmm. and get your opponents really confused probably um but uh you can play one or 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 two early in the game and uh these are fun um the josekis that tend to be associated with this are are a lot of fun and um your opponent usually has sort of three local moves a b and c okay and by far the most common is C, mm. and I know a lot of t Go teachers um, tell players that if their opponent plays one of these, not three four or four or four four moves, that they should always just play C because their opponent's never going to be ready for that. That they're just they're just uh, bluffing, <laughs> yeah. and uh, we are absolutely not going to be bluffing. <laughs> If your opponent plays C, uh, this is mostly what you want, okay? Mm. If they play A or B, uh, we'll be able to handle it, and um, we're going to look at those. These are going to be the not evil ones, and C is going to be very, very evil. <laughs> okay. So I'm going I'm to write this in the move comments. C is the evil one. Dude, I'm excited. <laughs> Okay, so uh, let's let's go from the the least evil to the most evil, right? Yeah. So I went here. Um, if I go, do you see in the tree of variations that one has a sort of blue circle around it now? Oh yeah, I do see that with the comment. Yeah. Okay. Right with the comment that C is the evil one now. Oh yeah, that's cool. Okay, I like that. Yep. Nice, the evil one. <laughs> right. So this is this is the uh, easiest one. Um, is B. B. They, they play on the outside, okay. right? You just attach D3. 
So you can attach a Q3. This is possible. However, the even easier one is just R3. Ah, uh, no contact, just slide done. Yeah. Yeah, so um, contact moves in general are extra, extra defensive, right? Yeah. So if you really want to defend this stone specifically, this is a defensive move to do it. Usually they'll honey or there's also the wedge. Both of these happen. Right. Um. Okay. Usually honey is better than the wedge. And it can go like, for instance, like this. It's not a particularly interesting variation. I don't recommend it myself. I, I just almost always play this. Okay. Um, and there is literally only one thing to remember here. Mm -hmm. So white pretty much always backs off like this. Yeah, that seems normal. Yeah. Right? That's what I would do. And the one thing you have to remember is you don't actually tanuki here. You add this move. Oh. And the reason you add this move is because if you don't, if you play something else, this is very, very, very annoying. Yeah, it's pretty painful. Maybe you have to go like R6 or something, but then he gets the outside and it's not good. Yeah, so, um, yeah, R6 is not, is not fun. Um, you actually still have a shape defect here. Really? Yeah, so, you know, we keep playing, whatever. Um, white here is not easy to handle. This is a very common shape problem whenever you have this. Is that, like, the same with, like, the kick, and then they don't do, like, the one Exactly the same spot, right. Yeah. Yes. Yes. It's, it's an annoying spot. There's also, um, this is also an annoying thing. Ah. Uh, yeah, dude, like, right? I, I was... So playing... You might have to, like, even jump out. <laughs> yeah. And white can jump out here. And here's the issue, is that it looks like you're putting pressure on this stone. You're not. He's, he's fine. Well, but... you kind of are, but it's easy to sacrifice. Ah. Uh, and black's corner isn't even that big. If he spends, like, white two moves can, on it. White can hane and defend the stone, or it can just even leave and, like... Oh, okay. Leave right. some Aji for Both later. Both of these are okay for white. Yeah, dude, I, yeah. Was, I was playing against this guy yesterday. It was like yesterday or two days ago, mm -hmm. and he did a out of a kick. He did like a large knight, like extend away, and I was like, "Bro, this needs to be punished," but I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> he did like this a, one. Well, one guy, one thing he did that was one guy, and then another guy went o fifteen at like a super high, and I was like, "Oh man." This one I just want to play here right now. Oh really? Yeah. So I thought this about cutting it. point is super annoying. Yeah. <laughs> super annoying. Super um, <laughs> yeah, like trying to figure out how to answer this with black, I just don't know what to do. Uh, what about the, just like a knight move, is that, what if black plays are like 017? Does that matter? So if black 017, this is this is standard, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. This is just Joseki. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is just Joseki, right? What about large? This knight? one I want to play here immediately. Uh, um, this one you can just sort of do your normal stuff, and the Aji in this corner is going to be very bad. Ah, uh, just three three. Um, or... You eventually can do nasty stuff at the triangle spots. Gotcha. But there's no hurry. Okay. Anyway, sorry. If black get... comes back and adds another move that already was punishment, right? Yeah. True. I mean, he added another move where he normally wouldn't need it. Yeah. Okay. Thanks um, for cleaning that up. I mean, this one you can probably get away with just leaving and letting Black add another move too. But this one, I just want to play here immediately. Yeah. Okay. Just immediately. I don't want to even think about it. I just want to do it. Um, even before defending the triangles group, anything. Just, just go. Just do it. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for showing me that. Because um, if Black wants to do something like this and fight, honestly, I think I would just cut. Ah. I, I, I do not believe that what Black is doing makes any sense. <laughs> um, like here, 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 you can defend out this way. And he somehow has to prove that he has something really strong against the triangle stones for this position to make any sense. Good luck. Um. Yeah, I mean, if you go on the yeah, outside, I don't you just do anything strong against those stones because you could play A as a Mida method. Exactly. Yeah. 
Yeah. So yeah. Okay. So th this is kind of similar. I, I generally don't like these kicks. Um, you could also try this thing, but that's no fun either. It's just very very slow. Um, so yeah. Pincering is worse. If he gets this slide, it's just absolutely. How do you connect against these cuts? There is no move to do it. Hmm. Like, I mean, obviously this will connect, but it's terrible. Um, this will connect, but it's terrible. This looks like it's better, but then this is Sente. Ah. <laughs> right? Yeah. This looks like it's better than this is Sente. These are all... So, pins, you can't pincer. You really... The only thing you have to remember here is you just add this. Okay. Right, so I'll remember... Remember to add this. Right. That's it. Okay. Right. So we've actually done this one. That's it. That's really all there is to say. This uh, one exists. You can play it. Just but, uh, so this is actually just the 3-3 three, three Joseki. It's a very, very common transposition. So if White were to start here and you play this, this is common, right? Ah, I see. So it's mm -hmm. just the 3-3 three, three, That's all it is. Okay. 3-3 three, three Josekis are all very easy. You're, this, is what, this is what we got. Um... So this is the way white can keep things easy. This one is also easy. Okay? Hmm. Um, however, here you sort of have three real choices. Like the opposite? Uh, a, yeah. B, and C. Oh, a few choices, okay. So uh, they're all easy, okay? Sure. Um, a is pretty straightforward. It's when you want influence facing that way. Your opponent usually plays here. And you can kind of stop here if you want, or you can pray this, or you can extend. Hmm. Anything is okay. I'm reading most anything is okay from here. Yeah? Yeah. Um, you don't, you're not really committed to these outside stones. If later white wants to attack them, they're kind of light. Hmm. They're also influence, you know, you, you have influence pointing in this direction. It's kind of nice. It, it's sort of the obvious thing that you, reason you'd want to play here is for influence pointing that way, so, yeah. Sure, that makes sense. Okay, yeah. Um, so C, again, is kind of the same idea. You kick here, he stretches here, you play this. Ah. The only difference is just the direction the influence points, right? You wouldn't want to, like, go R8 in this position instead? Like stick closer on the on the right side, out of the C. So C kick and then. Well, I guess it's just kind of uh, giving him too much on no, the bottom. No, you don't want to play this. That was too much on the bottom. Uh, he does this immediately. Oh yeah. So uh, here, here, this cutting point stinks. <laughs> play another move, yeah. It's too over concentrated. Yeah, you, you need another move, and what move are you going to play? Yeah, okay. Good point. Okay. I mean, you, you don't want to play, like, A, B, C. You don't, you don't want any of that stuff. So so what do you do about it? You cry. No, no, no. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so the, 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 the move you want is usually this. White will usually play this. And now if you want to extend on the right side, you don't want to go, like, R8. You want to go much further. Um, Maybe here, even. And you don't worry about, like, inside pincers? With it being so long? To invade, that's okay. Is it? Uh, so... This stuff is all sent against the corner. Hmm. Like, maybe this one here, and White defends the corner, and you, like... You're not... The, the point of this is that you're, you're playing for influence, not for points. Hmm. So, you're not trying to make points here. That's not the objective. The objective is to just get this nice outside shape. Uh, so if your opponent's trying to invade here and... Let him run, know, whatever. Yeah, you can you can let him live here, or you can chase him out. This is this should also be nice, like, right? Ah. Uh, right? This, yeah. is, this is sort of a nice influence sort of play. Hmm. Okay. This will work nicely if you want, if you're thinking about Moyo strategies, right? This is, this is okay. Okay. Um, this is a much more robust shape than it looks like. You can play as almost as far away as you want. You can even leave it like this. Again, the stones are kind of light. Um, this is not too different if you play against 
three threes sort of uh, they play here you do this sort of this kind of shapes uh, this is not quite right uh, I get that wrong all right here we go this is the right shape this is the shape I'm talking about yeah I've done this before yeah mostly just trying to get some stuff pointing at the outside and you're willing to to give him that if he wants it mm. right Right. So, yeah. this is the same sort of. I'm lost. Uh, give me one second. You're good. <laughs> Here we go. This is the same sort of shape. I mean, essentially, you're just trying to, to get something pointing out towards the center, in sente. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. These are this is this is these are very nice situations if you want to uh, make moyos. Sure. Right. Yeah. Which is something that, like I I, I pick this because you know th this will often lead to moyos and you like them. I do like moyos. Uh, there's also <laughs> this. This is the most common answer to this is just this, and it turns into normal three three fair. Ah. Huh. <sighs> Excuse me. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, right. That's fair. Yep. Just yeah, it's just normal 3 3 fair. Yeah. Um, Wedge doesn't matter. There's also the hallway, and you just stretch out like this. Yeah. And you can kind of guess how this works. Like R4 or something, and then whatever. Yeah. Yeah, and you can block, or you can defend out here. This is both okay. Yep. Right? Okay. I mean, again, this this one, you don't actually care about the, the points on the right side, so you don't have to... You can even you can even play here and stop. You won like you don't even have to do this if you don't want to. Would like R six be a mistake? What? Would R six like be a mistake Is then? That a mistake? Is what a mistake? Oh, uh, R six like a Hane on top of. Uh, Hane is also possible. Response. Um, Hane essentially your plan is that you are going to sacrifice these two. So if White pushes, you stretch and you sacrifice those two. Ah. Can't save it all, I guess. Uh, not a good idea to. Um, if you try to block, then these cutting points are not fun. Yeah, it's pretty sketch, huh? Okay, yeah. you're right. Um, okay. Yeah, but no, no. This is actually this is actually kind of if if we actually play this out, this is gonna this is good for black, right? I really like sacrificing well, to get outside. About this. Yeah, I've noticed like in a lot of my games, like whenever I get like full surround like like with white here where he has like no way out like it feels so good you just it's so nice dude yes yes this yeah. is this is you should be very happy with this oh dude i this would is, be so happy maybe, well. I would, i'm gonna call this a white mistake yeah man yeah yeah dude like yeah. outside influence probably better with white you should even like honey here instead uh i'd probably just what would i do r7 just push up Something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is the, or you can do this, or he can. White can also push here. Like this is also like this is easy. Yeah, it seems easy. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Like okay. so, when white invades, you have A, B, and C, and all of them are easy. Yeah. So with A, then he slides, and then you can either go like, you know, slide yeah, again. He'll usually slide if he wants to do something like this. This is not actually good. No. Um. So the easy way to play is just like this. And you just let him extend as much as he wants, I guess. As much as he wants, yeah, pretty much. Mm. Your ball is going to be better than his area, especially because you can still play A. And that's a good reduction, yeah. Yeah, so the, the, the important thing to remember about A later on, like in the, it's not even just pure end game. Um, no. He can't have A here. No. He'll just uh, fall to pieces. Oh, right? cut through. Ah. Uh, yeah. True. True. Yeah. True. Right. Um. So Hane here is about the best he's got, and usually this is Sente because you're threatening very nasty stuff in the corner. Yeah, it's pretty sketch. Huh? Yep. Yeah, like if he does nothing, then this can be. It, 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 this can. It will depend on what's going on over on this side, whether this is actually threatening to kill him or not, but. It, it's even if it's not, it's still a little messy. So it, usually A is going to be some some nice sente stuff for later. So White's corner is not very good, and your outside is pretty good. Yeah. Um, and White can preface it with this. 
And uh, the easy answer is just like this, and this is still good for you. Hmm. Um, we, I will show you some stuff related to this double Hane later today. Okay. Okay. Um, sure. I'm not going to show it to you in this context, but just sort of this is the shape we should remember. Got it. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. um, when when this when the uh, so so far we've looked at like a, B, and C. both B yeah. and A, both A and B, and neither of them are evil, right? It seemed like pretty even results, yeah. They're pretty even results. They're not very sharp. Yeah, pretty basic. Nothing terrible happens. What is good to under good to remember about them is that they're kind of easy to play for black. Yep. Mm -hmm. Right. I'd say so. And this is going to be the theme of what I'm, of what we're going to be doing. Um, of the, the reason why I really like Takaboku points, especially when white plays C, is that it, they're usually much sharper for white than for black. Hmm. Like white can get into lots and lots of trouble. So this is this is where evil begins. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so. Um, the first move I'm going to show you, because we're going to go in increasing evilness, is A, right? Okay. This is the not so evil. B exists, but I don't. I'm not going to even show you that or worry about it. Okay. And C is this move. The new B. This one. The new B. That one's evil. Oh. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna again sort of right. So. This is easy to understand here. Um, a is the 3-3 three, three point, and it's a contact move. Mm. So usually when do you want to play A? With defense? So if you're yeah, just it's a defense, live. right. Generally, A is about making life defense. That's what it is, right? Mm. Now, have you seen this Joseki? Yeah. Usually it's attached so to the So this is yeah. almost exactly the same. The only difference is the presence of that triangle move. Right. Okay. Yeah. Right? So it's going to behave exactly like that. White plays this, honey. You pull back. And white usually has to play this. Hmm. Now, if you really want influence, you can still play A. However, my recommendation is that if you wanted to play A, you should have just played A instead of doing this first. So usually what it means is you're going to try to just find a base for your group here or here. Gotcha. And white sort of ends up playing here or here. And this is literally almost exactly this Joseki, right? Um, so... Yeah, looks pretty normal. All we did was change the order. Yeah. <laughs> so if you've done this one, you've done the other one, we're good to go, right? You can play this. I would say so. So, right, you can play this, it's defensive, it gives you a base, it gives you life. Um, you can always get away with this. Like, this. Is, here's the thing, the stuff that's gonna come with B, is gonna require some study. Okay. Right? Mm. So you can start playing this now and just use A until you're more confident with the B stuff. Mm. Which is a lot of the way this works, that you get to make most of the calls. Nice. Mm. Okay. Um, when things get sketchy, it's because you wanted them to, not because White did. Fair. <laughs> So we're gonna play B. Now white has A and B are okay. And the triangle is a blunder. What about R4? Uh, R4 is, it, it, you can play it, but it stinks. Um, that's not good. So if he does this, you just block. I'll just keep him inside. Okay. Mission accomplished. Outside influence. Yeah, and I mean, probably he has to slide like this. Then like N3. Just stay on top. 
Uh, right. you can you can play N three or you can just leave. Hmm. This is sort of a slightly worse version for white of uh this one. Hmm. Because um, so we take these two stones off. Boop. This is better shaped for black than the other one. I would say so. Yeah. So <laughs> this is the, so if white decides to uh, to do this, this is not actually a good move. Um, this is slightly worse than the other one, which is Joseki. Hmm. So it's not a blunder, but it's not it's not good. Okay. Okay. So what are the other no? ones? And you were shown A and B. All right. Yeah. So, okay, so A, B, and a triangle. Triangle is important. Ah. Um, because a lot of players will play triangle against you. And if they do, you will eat their soul. <laughs> okay? <laughs> <laughs> um, I have had uh, games that were less than 30 moves long against Don players who played triangle. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to start with A, Okay. Yeah. Now, there are three moves here, okay? A, which is easy, but you, I'm going to recommend you never, ever play A. Okay. Okay. B, which is... If you play B, which I'm going to recommend you do, many people will accuse you of playing trick moves. Oh. Not a trick move. B is legit. It just gives your opponent a chance to completely mess up his own life. And is otherwise very similar to A. Huh. Okay? And the third move, which is, uh, which is the sort of... If you want things really sharp and you don't want to give White a chance to say no, you play C. Looks complicated. <laughs> So C is the one. C is the one you play if you if you don't want to give your opponent a chance to ever simplify. Okay. Now I will show you A because just sort of for kicks, this is very very common and standard. Yep. This looks almost exactly like this, right? Pretty much. Right. The difference is that you actually have this stone, which is again very nice for center influence and moyos and stuff. Hmm. Um, you can if you want to extend on the right or whatever, right? Now, we've looked at that, don't ever play it. If you want that result, play this. Hmm. Now, the correct answer for white usually is this. And you can play this and get the exact same thing if that's what you're hoping for. Hmm. Okay? White has another correct answer here, which is this. And this is the reason why people might think it's a trick move. They will tell you that, oh, this is slightly better. But it, it's really, this is OK. You can choose to play here, or here, or out here, or do nothing. They're all perfectly OK. Huh. Right? The move White can't play is this one. That one's bad. Hmm. So this is an instinct. I think that people um, starting around one down will not play this. Hmm. Now, uh, here's the reason they won't play it. They won't play it because, honestly, you can just keep going here, and White's not achieving anything. Hmm. And you can do this now. Right? This is not better than White just pulling back here, right? Hmm. Okay. Do we agree? Yeah, yeah. Like, I, it's, it's not yeah. better. He, he's not doing, he's not achieving anything better by just following you here, right? True, yeah. Mm hmm. Okay, with this. Yeah. I'm fine with it. If he ever does pull back, then, okay. Now, um, 
if you are ready for it, if you have studied this, then you are not going to pull back. You're going to Hane here and murder him. Whoa. Okay? So this is murder. So, um, let's make this clear. Once we get to this position... White is busted. Okay? Oh, wow. So, white has only one choice, right? He has to cut. Cut, yeah. Mm -hmm, yep. Right. And then black... Then you extend to S4. Yeah. He has absolutely no choice. If you play triangle, he dies. Hmm. Right? Right. Right? Mm-hmm. Then you play R2. Hmm. Can you see where this is going? Slightly. I don't see exactly <laughs> right? how, but I see that there's a lot of death involved. <laughs> yeah, well, okay, so he's got to get out with these guys, right? Somehow. Yeah. So he's going to block. And you're going to connect and make the L group. He does not have time to kill you, right? Hmm. If he tries to kill you, you just mur he dies first, right? Hmm. Yes? I would say so, yeah. Yeah. So, instead what he's going to try to do is like, maybe this. Yeah, O3 or N3, yeah. Right. And it looks like this works, but it does not. It does look like it, yeah. Hmm. And when he hunts, you wedge. Hmm. An Atari? And uh, he's just dead. So he Atari's from above, right? You think this is something? Kinda. Uh, so you go, uh, there's a few different ways to murder him here. Uh, which is the best? Give me a second. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. This is probably clean enough. Um, so if you've got the ladder, this is, this is gonna work. Hmm. Um, remember this? Uh, you can always stretch here. He can't handle this. Oh. Right? So you can keep him nicely contained. Oh. Right. <laughs> uh, sooner. You can do it a couple times and then go for this. Hmm. Right? And even without the ladder, he's still busted. Hmm. Right? Doesn't look quick to kill, but I'm sure there's something. Okay, so let's let's convince you that this is dead for white. Um, how's he gonna get out? Like this? Some type of outside squirming and make it complicated, yeah. Yeah, but he, where's he going? I'm not sure. Somewhere else until it comes back here. <laughs> 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 yeah, and um, you can live in the corner with one move. Hmm. Right? Fair. Now, you can also skip this one and cut here. This might be a little bit simpler. Again, if he goes here, if you have the ladder, this is really easy. Even if you don't have the ladder, he should die. Huh. Neat. <laughs> right? Yeah. And you, if you play this, White also might get the feeling that he can do this. Because it looks like he has Mii of A and B. Uh, I feel like just... You just play B. Dropping down win, wins, yeah. Yeah, you just play B and he's dead. Because he'll have to short his own liberty so, to do anything, so... Right. So here's the thing, right? If you're confident with this, if you've looked at it enough and you understand it... You can do this, and end him. This is over, right? Hmm. Yeah. If you are not, right? 
Hmm. Yeah, true. It's perfectly fine. So it's your it's your choice here whether or not you're actually gonna try to punish this blunder. Hmm. The, the note I've made here is uh, this is a blunder your choice whether you're going to go into the complicated variations to punish hmm. right A punishes but B is okay got it okay yeah right? I'll keep that in mind yeah. yeah now if white plays this so this is sort of the standard Joseki but the difference here between this it's a little bit harder to not connect. In this position, you can probably just leave it if you want. Mm. So if you ask me, B is just plain better than A. Fair. Not as many cutting points, too. Yeah, I just don't like A. I just prefer B. And yeah. B gives White a chance to completely murder himself if he wants to. Hmm. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, that's fun. So cut there. It's complicated, but R two. You can. Triangle, yeah. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> it's complicated, but you can if if he if if he if you've studied it, then you win. Like the game could be over right now. Yeah, you just immediately get like plus twenty or whatever out of the opening. <laughs> yeah, you you just you kill him, and then what the hell happened to the rest of the game, right? Yeah. Right, and if it's not. You're still okay. You can still do this, and you're fine. Hmm. Nothing too bad happens, which is sort of the theme that I want to that I want to focus on. This is why I think that this is a good uh, sort of opening strategy for people who want to for players who want to like get something really sharp, but aren't quite ready for it yet. <laughs> um, yeah, some bailout no, options. No, like, like every turn you, you have a simple you have a simple option that's okay. Hmm. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I've... And white is not going to have that choice. Huh. So, if white plays this and you play here, white does not have a simple option that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, white cuts and then extend. No, white cuts. Yeah. Okay, so, um, this is important. Here's what we're here's the here's the way we're gonna do this, okay? Okay. We are going to live the triangle stone. Plan. Live triangle. Make white cut into two. That's the plan. Okay? Okay. So if you remember the plan, how would you live triangle? Maybe. Hmm. Well, what's the obvious Probably, way to live anything, right? Take the 3-3 three, three point. Yeah, R3. Yeah. That's the way you live, right? That's the, just, we've, we've sort of learned this. This is why I say that studying Joseki is about learning to fight. Hmm. Your plan is you live triangle. You don't have to necessarily remember all of the moves. You remember the plan. Hmm. Okay? Okay. So the plan is you live the triangle stone. Now, white has one move that's kind of obvious in this position, so we'll think about this from a fighting perspective. Like Atari. That's sort of the obvious move. Probably. Mm hmm? Either like R2 or Atari, the Q5 stone. Probably R2, I think, uh, is so Atari and Q5 better. is a very bad idea. Oh, is it? Oh. So, in general, Atari is uh, a bad move. Almost always, regardless of the situation, Atari is just in general usually bad. <laughs> Fair. So there's two Ataris you can try here. If you, if you Atari here, you've done severe damage to this stone, and you still have this cutting point. True. Right? And if you Atari here, this is even worse. You've done even worse damage <laughs> to these guys, and you still have this cutting point with a mitom method. <laughs> yeah, fair. Okay. You're right, you're right. Yeah. Don't do this. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah? Yeah. So, Yuhane here, you have to break this mitom method with white. Which, it's broken. 
right? But this threatens a Mida method and also takes the 3-3 three, three point. Hmm. So Hana here is the only move. Okay. Okay, so our interest is to live with the to live with triangle. Hmm. How are we gonna do that? S two? Absolutely S two. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely S two. Um now white cannot allow you to capture this stone, right? True. I mean he'll probably like Q1 or he has something to or connect. Yeah. There is no choice, right? Oh, okay. If he does anything other than connect, you will you will capture that stone. Even with Q1? Oh, well, okay, but this is just a worse version of connecting, right? Well, it kind of threatens S1 a little bit. Okay, so if you play this, then it's like he connected and then played this thing. Okay, okay, you're right. Never mind, never mind. <laughs> yeah, uh, never mind. Yeah, not fun. Okay, you're right, you're right, you're right. Okay, so what he has to do is he has to connect. Okay. Hmm. All right? Yep. So we're going to live with triangle. How are you going to do that? Um. Yeah. You have to Atari at, our, at S5, right? There is yeah. just no choice. Yeah, yeah. True. Right? You don't want to. But you have to live with triangle, that's the only choice. Got it. Okay. Right? So, you Atari, he comes out. You need to live, you push one more time. Hmm. Now, this Atari is no good, there's no ladder. True. Right? Right? So he can't do that, so he has to stretch. And then you just connect up, P5, forget about it? That's right, exactly. Then good luck living. And uh, the move to remember is when Hihan is in the corner, you connect here. Hmm. This will not kill you. No? No. Mm -hmm. Um. You can stretch one more... To be to be extra safe, actually, hmm. if you like. Um, usually, you can do this. Uh, I take it back. You should stretch one more. I'm sorry. No, that's and then fine. do this. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yes, yes. My bad. So here, this will not kill you. You play here. You have an I at A and an I at B. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So, uh, you can stretch here, 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 and if he tries this, you push. Oh. Yes? Yeah. I, I just I just got the order wrong, I'm sorry. No, oh, yeah, I mean, it's, I see it, yeah, <laughs> that's good. Yeah. yeah, so you don't, you don't stretch all the way to here now, right? Mm -hmm. you, you, you play this move, and if he plays this, you're alive. This will not kill you because you stretch here and then you're alive. Got it. I, I, I B, right? This is what you have to remember. Most of the rest of this, I believe you, all heard the you just sort of remember the plan and follow your nose. You hone on the save, inside. Save the stone. Save it. Do it. <laughs> save the stone, right? You're, you're saving the stone. You're saving the stone. Save it. You're saving the stone. Even. You have a you have a single tempo. You really don't want this guy to get in trouble because you want him cut in two. So I feel like if you push S seven now, he could just uh, net that stone. Yeah, right. You don't want to push S seven if you don't have to. But the thing is, you're okay because in this case, you push and live, right? Hmm. Beautiful. So just like he's here, and then black comes out this way. White comes out this way. Fair. Right. Now, in this position, okay, mm -hmm. this is Joseki, and you're both okay. Hmm. Okay? So there's some stuff to remember. First off, 
If you have stones around a triangle or triangle, this fight might be unreasonable for white. Hmm. Particularly, for instance, okay, let's add a black stone here. You can play here and try to kill him. Ah, yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, you need to be a little bit careful because stuff like this is sent against the corner. Hmm. Right? So, just you have to be careful. Even this is sent against the corner. So, just locally, right? Um, your plan was to stretch out like this, but he can cut instead. Because you don't have any follow-ups here. You can't just go T5 now? Just being stupid. I'm, why, what am I getting wrong here? Oh! Right. No, yes, you're right. Uh, he can do T5. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, you, you can do T5. <laughs> okay. Yes, I'm, I'm, being, I'm being dumb. What can he do instead? Uh... Oh, right, yeah, yeah, he can just block. Oh, no. Because uh, there's no cut here. Right, so in the other variation, I am I am I am not being smart today. Uh, so in this variation, if white tries to kill you right away... I'm not smart any day, so that's okay. When you push here, <laughs> you can't hunt it because you cut. Ah, that makes sense. So anything that gets rid of that cut is going to be sent hit against the corner. Hmm. Which is why this is sente against the corner, hmm. right? If you play, if you play away now, this is not life, right? Ah, uh, because he takes away that eye, right? Right, 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 right. I see. So, I, I, I do know this. I swear. Um, <laughs> That's all good, brother. <laughs> right, I played this for years, like every single game, so oh, I should you? know this. Oh, cool. Um, yeah. Uh, okay, so the story here is, um, this is Sente against the corner locally, but he also does not have many liberties, so you can actually try to kill him. Hmm. Thing you can try for. Um, it is messy. But... Just race it? His liberties are very low. So you can you can you can try for this if you want. Um, also, moves around here are also very useful for you. Uh, so as this fight plays on, um, this type of thing. So if he captures this stone, oh, just ladder or whatever. Ladder Extend. or brought like this, yeah. yeah. And he can connect here. And then descend. And this will connect. Oh, connect. Okay. But then this stone really interferes with him trying to find life because there are no eyes here. Ah. Right. 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 <laughs> yeah. So if you have mo if you have stones around the triangle points, white can get in trouble. Hmm. The thing you have to remember is that white's moves, any white move that eliminates your cut, um. A, B, C is sente. So white, any of these square moves is sente. Mm. Okay, so I, I wrote the comment. Uh, any of the white square moves are sente. Black has strong continuations if there's a strong if there's a stone at a triangle point. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So this is this looks like a huge mess, but it's not actually that hard. You play it, then you live the stone. Yeah. Then you pull out the cutting stone, and you remember, and you make sure you're alive. Hmm. And there's gonna. Be, um. Right, you don't you don't walk away here. You, white has to handle the square group. You have to handle the X group. Um, the group on the bottom is not nearly as alive as it looks. Yes. Right. Hmm. Right. So um, the only group that is one hundred percent alive is your group in the corner. Hmm.
Seems a little tricky to manage those like P the P5 group on the outside, but yeah, um, it's a little bit tricky to manage, but it's also very tricky to manage for white. Yeah, yeah, true. Right. Mm -hmm. So I, I said this is some sharp stuff. This is not about like, right? This is sharp. Yeah, yeah. It's not simple. If you have played this and your opponent has not. <laughs> yeah. Like, white could absolutely mess this up and end up completely busted. Hmm. So could you, right? But you, you, you've hopefully looked at this a little bit and understand what's going on. Again, if you understand the theme of the Joseki, you can get here on your own. Hmm. Right? Okay. Your opponent does not have that, that advantage. They can bungle this up any number of ways. So, uh, I've seen white play here. And you just take it. You stretch, and then white doesn't know what to do. They'll often end up playing something like this. Oh, I think they just stretch, honestly. Yeah, okay, well, they stretch, and uh, Maybe. you can stretch back and cut. Now they're just mega dead, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're in trouble. Uh, you can also stretch back yourself. This is actually okay, so long as you have the ladder. Is, yeah, isn't that a self net? Oh no, because you push up Atari. Never mind. Just kidding. Yeah. So long as I wrote, so long as white does not have the ladder, this is also good for black. Hmm. Right. But you can you can just straight up cut. Um. You can you can just go for it. Um. Push here and cut. This also works. Um. Again, make sure that you remember about the life and death of the corner. Right. Right. Hmm. Right. It's not clean. Just connect that so this, is the, this, is the, this is the point about these very sharp Josekis, right? They are very sharp. They can cut you. Right? They, 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 yeah. They're not like... It's not like only your opponent is in trouble. The reason, the reason I'm recommending this is because you get to choose when you start it. If you're not comfortable with this, you can just always play this and you're fine. Then extend, extend, extend. Oh, no, if he extends up, then right. he dies with R4. And he, right. If you're comfortable with this, you can murder him. If not, you're still okay. You don't have to get into the fight where you win. Mm -hmm. This fight, you win. All right? This is not a fight you win. This is an even fight. Probably just extend up then, I guess. But then it gives him a this chance. This exchange, yeah. This exchange is, is very, very bad for White and makes it so you win the fight. Essentially because... So let's compare these two, right? This is this is how we this is how we study Joseki. We compare them. What's the difference in this fight versus the other one? Well, because you don't actually have to extend here, because the X stone is already okay. Hmm. Yeah. Fair. Right. Mm hmm. Yep. This is why this exchange is so bad. But you can't play it exactly the same because instead of R3, we're going to play S4 because we really want this to be sent against the outside stones. Hmm. So this is partially a, 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 a sort of Joseki class where we're learning to do sharp stuff and murder your opponents. But it's also partially like... This is how this is how we try to understand what Josekis are and how they work. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm I'm seeing this a bit. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you actually want to study them, all right? Now, uh, this is getting a little bit long, but we can. I mean, we don't. Act, this isn't going to be a video or anything, so we can talk about B and triangle, uh, particularly B. Um. So. B is not. Mm. So if if white gets this, you can always get away with this, and you're fine. Yep. And you still have triangle, right? True. If you play here, this is a blunder. For white? Yes. Really? Yes. Wow. It does not right. look so obvious. 
Right. This is exactly the same blender as this one. It goes like this. Huh. It just doesn't look right? that good, but I don't see how. <laughs> okay, so we're going to look at it, all right? Yeah. So if you play here, this is a blunder. This is this is an absolute, complete collapse for white. That's crazy. Okay. It, it looks fine. So you just block. Yeah. Now, what do you think white does? He cuts, right? Obviously, yeah. And then, like, probably Atari, so like, N3 probably or something. here, right? Yeah. And then, yeah. yeah. So you connect. This is easy, right? Yeah. White plays this move, yep. and you stretch. Uh -huh. Okay. Now, white has a couple choices here. Now, if white knows uh, some Mida method stuff, he might want to connect here. Yeah, to threaten the capture, yeah. Right, so if he does this, he dies. Like, this is the worst move. Okay, so we're gonna show you why. Are you ready? I'm. Yeah, I'm trying to figure it out. Maybe like P3 throw okay, in. So you Atari here first because you can. Fair. This is optional. Like if you forget this move and don't play it, whatever. Yeah. But this is this is the time to play it. You play it immediately because this is the time White will answer it. Hmm. Right. You don't ever want to get. You don't ever want White to get that. But it, it, this is this is an optional exchange. Sure. The important move is R3. Now, at this point, the best white can do is this, and just take that, which is painful and horrible. Players up to one down strength will play this against you, which is a blunder. This, get, this just gets worse. <laughs> you play this, and now there is no way out for him. Wow. This is the Tsuji. Of death. <laughs> the Tsuji of death. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna call it the Tsuji of doom. <laughs> All right. So, if White does not play A, you play A, and that's it, right? If he does play A. If he does play A, you cut. Atari, extend, fill. There is no way he's ever getting enough liberties here. He has to connect, right? Yeah. And then uh and you play here. It's just dead. Wow. <laughs> He's just dead. Now I have had games against Don Strength opponents where this was actually literally the entire game right here. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Twenty-five move games, we play to this, they resign, and we leave. That's it. Jeez. How do literally we... no other skills on the board. <laughs> wow. Right, so this is about, up to about one done. This can happen. I think probably a little bit after one done, they will realize that this honey is no good, <laughs> and they'll sort of whoop 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 whoop. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> right, and I think usually sort of around, um, probably around three or four done, they start to realize that this is not actually good shape. Right now, uh, white does not have to fall this hard. White can also play this. Hmm. So, if you have a ladder, uh, white is completely busted. If you don't have a ladder, you're still better. Okay? Okay. So you Atari here to give yourself extra liberties. Here's the point. The, your objective is to cut a triangle and to do very, very big damage to A or B. Right? Hmm. In order for that to work, you need some liberties. True. So you're targeting just for the libs. Just for he the connects, libs. connects. Yep. You cut, and he stretches, because he has to. And then here is the Tsuji of Doom. The extend. A and B or B I. Oh. <laughs> What's he gonna do about it? And he's not fast enough to kill. No. Nope. Too slow. Nope. Too there, slow. There. So if you do not have the ladder, 
then he can survive like this. Then you play here, and since you don't have the ladder, you can't actually capture him. Mm. So you play, if black has the ladder, the game is over. If not, still good for black. So you play the net, which doesn't work, and you just squeeze this into a lump. <laughs> right? So essentially, like, white shouldn't even answer this. Just go somewhere But, like, else. this is sort of what, this, what the shape is. Uh, lump shape. <laughs> it's a lump shape, yeah? It's a lump. White stones, like, they're, they're terrible. It actually looks so good you, for black, yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is this is very good for black. Yeah. Right? So, um, yeah. This is a blunder. That's crazy. And you will, you will have this, this particular... This exact sequence with white here, black here, and then this really beautiful Tsuji here. It's really nice. Um, this is the, the sequence that I learned, um, and I mean, you're, you're supposed to give this Atari first, right? But this is the sequence that when I learned it, I decided I wanted to play a lot of Takamoku points. <laughs> I said, oh my god, this is great. How did you study, like, these? How did you remember all of them? Did you, like, use flashcards so, or something? Um, or, I like... mean, you put them up one at a time. I'm just trying to... I mean, these are awesome. I'm going to have to, like... I actually am recording yeah, this yeah. just for myself we, we, for later. We're recording this. We're going to... I've made some notes on this, right? Yeah. Um, right? Now, uh, White does have a better move here instead of this complete blunder, which everything was just completely explodes in his face, which is to cut. Hmm. This is the better move. Um, this one is actually complicated. I wrote the note. This one is actually very complicated. It looks right? complicated, yeah. Um, so there are two. There are a few moves you can play. A or B are the most common ones. Um, hmm. I'm going to recommend B. It's the one that I know pretty well. Sure. It looks like it's less so complicated too. So if White too. pulls back like with something like this, then you got like the ladders and stuff like this, right? Uh, yep. True. And if white does this, you have the not so complicated okay result, which is to Atari here. Push through, yeah. Right, so white captures and you push through. The reason you might not be 100% satisfied with this is that this stupid stone is not dead. Yeah, he could probably wiggle. Yeah, he can do this. Yeah. It's right? Not so obvious if, if you, you can kill that. you hate this, it's, it's okay. Right. This is okay. Right. This is okay. You're, 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 he's not dead, but it's mostly just Aji at this point. Like, hmm. right. Right. Hmm. Like this isn't happy for him, right? But he is a lot. He's not dead. If you hate that he's dead, um, that he's not dead, you can stretch here. And this goes into, like, nasty stuff. Um, if he wants to Atari on this side, now you do this. And now he's dead. Now it looks good for black. Oh, right. So, instead he will often play on this side. And you'll have to come out here and squirm. Hmm. And this fight, if you've noticed, will extend out of the corner very quickly and will depend on what's going on over here. Fair, yeah. Right? So it's sort of. This can get very, very complicated, but it's no longer like strictly Joseki. It depends on stuff. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But again, this is another situation where if you have played this before and your opponent is not, uh, you will do better in this fight. Yeah? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, so if you have ladders. This can be a this can be a blunder for white. Notice this this Tsuji, We've seen this exact same thing before in this very same lecture. You play Atari here and stretch here. Hmm. A and B are Mii. Oh wow! Yeah. 
we've just looked at this exact same shape. Yeah, we did, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah? It, the context was different, but it's the same shape. Huh. You see how learning Joseki teaches you how to fight? Yeah, it's kind of cool. Yeah. Right. yeah, yeah, they're, they're fights. Yeah. Right? You learn this stuff, you just fights. Now, you need the ladder for this to be good. Right? This is not the... If, if, it, if you do... If you, because the... Um, this doesn't work quite the same. You can't pull this off. Because this is Atari. True. Right? That's pretty bad, yeah. Right? So, like, you know, you need the ladder for this to work. However, if he doesn't have the ladder, if, if, you, if you have the ladder, this is almost not playable for White because he has to stretch you. Hmm. Like, if he does this, what do you mean? You're coming out and his group suck. His group stinks, right? Hmm. And you still have A in the corner. True. Yeah. Right? So actually, if White doesn't have the ladder, like, this is, he's got to settle for this. Which is not as bad for White as you might think. Hmm. Um, so the corner is not as big as it looks this endgame. Uh, unless you want this co, which you probably don't. Yeah, that's right? not worth it. <laughs> it's huge. That's actually, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, right. And even here... He could like, probably still... You know, that, that corner is not that big, right? No, it's pretty normal, yeah. Right? And uh, this volt, shape yeah. is super strong. You're not going to kill it ever. So his whole right. bottom and side beyond is... just just not killing it, like it, it makes the entire left side, you know, impossible. very strong for Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so this is not nearly as good for black as you might think. Like it's okay. This is Joseki. Hmm. Right. Um. But this is so. This is the move that I that I've learned and played. And you know, when I don't have the the ladder, it turns into this thing, and you usually push again. Uh, it, it's going to depend on what's going on over here. If whether this makes sense. Fair. Hmm. There are even variations where you push long enough to actually make life on the second line, and it's not as bad as you would think. Um, because huh. White still hasn't completely fixed the corner yet. Huh. Yeah. And the wall that he made has this stupid cutting point here that he doesn't know how to handle. Um, so... You know, right? Um, okay. So I think we've actually we've actually covered most of the stuff I wanted to talk about, right? Yeah. So A, B, and C, right? Uh, A is easy. B B is super easy, right? You just do this. Wait, let's uh, let me see if I can remember everything we talked about here. Let All me, right. Give me control. Sure. Let me try it. All right. Okay. So let's give you control. Let's see if I remember everything. Okay. Yeah, um, so you, you're definitely you're not supposed to remember everything. That's the reason why we're recording it and taking notes. Yeah, so with B, right. uh, mm -hmm. go here, everybody's back off. Yeah, you take the three, three point. And then you do like a large net, like something like that, or? Uh, that. You, can, you can defend on that side somewhere. It doesn't actually matter exactly where you do it. Two space, sort of the large knight is the most standard. Okay. So it actually gets rid of his chance to play R7. Right, true, okay. Because R7 is the move you don't want him playing. He can still do that, it's kind of annoying. Yeah. Right? Oh, so oh. usually you do you do two space. It's okay, it's okay if you do longer. Okay. Just make sure you don't play Tanuki. Gotcha. Just make sure you do something. Okay, so that's right? that. The other... Yeah, that's... Uh, mm -hmm. The other basic one is... So right. with... And this. you got some choices here and they're all okay. Yeah, and then the kick goes here, and then you go on top, and then I think that's it. I mean, yeah, he'll usually want to slide underneath. Uh, that's kind of a bad shape. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, and then that's. So this done. is fun. Here, quiz. Let me take control. Okay. Uh, this is fun. So if he plays this, what should you do? There are two options, they're both good. Hmm. 
either Hani on the outside, I think, or mm -hmm. and then he might drop down probably or something. Or stretch, right? Or stretch. Falling back is probably not clean for black. No, no, he's gonna it's too passive, and now he's ahead. Yeah, bad. Yeah, no, he's bad. Right. Okay. Stretching is fine. Stretch. This is easy. However, what happens if he does this? Uh, almost kind of looks like what we just talked about a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it does. Look at this. A and B. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, because A and B, right? Boom, so, boom, 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 yeah. It's not, this is not so strong. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. So that's that one, it's okay. Bad. Right, and we should start to recognize that this is usually not good shape. It looks like good shape, but it's 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 tricking you. Your double Hane is better shape than that bulge. Wait. Okay, so I'm gonna give you controls okay. again. Okay. We're gonna sub keep summarizing, all right? All right so all right, we so got this. That. And then this is the basic 3-3 three, three variation, if I wanna be basic. Uh, but that's not what I'm gonna play because it's not as fun. You have the option to honey underneath, which is also easy. Um, I would extend. Yeah. And then normal stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, and now we're going to get to evil stuff. <laughs> yeah, right. there, there's some evil stuff. So A is easy. Make sure you understand A, because if this is if you're not ready for B, you just play A. So with A, he'll probably, like, push up. Uh, so pushing up is very bad. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, he has to hunt A there. Okay. Yeah, if he pushes up, you do exactly what you did, and he's got he's in a world of hurt immediately. He's giving himself Hane at the head of two. Ah. Uh, true. Okay. Terrible. So All right. that, that so that, um that. worse than that. Let's see. Go um, on. give me. I'm gonna take control one second. Okay. So let's learn to think about um, uh, Kawari. Mm -hmm. This looks like something. This looks like with the following. It looks like White played Hoshi. You played 3-3. Three, three. He did this. You did this. And White Tanukis. Yeah, true. White Tanuki is not okay there, right? Probably not. It's giving up a lot. No. The, the mm -hmm. whole reason why this exists is so that White can Tanuki now. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. Or, or if Black does this, White can Tanuki now. White plays this if he really, really wants to want Sente to Tanuki, right? So... You you, you you play you, even if you really wanted to nuke you play this now so you you did so this means this cannot be okay mm. okay right there, there's actual thinking here <laughs> okay so right you play a now why does he have to play r2 why is that the only move though um so he he did c and you did, and you attached the three three right why is that the only move can you explain what what R two is about? Um. Well, it happens if he plays away. Then I guess. Uh, no, no, no. R two. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, R two. Um. Why does he have to play this? Hmm. Well, dropping down is bad. It gives no eye space, and then black just. Mm -hmm. Yeah, doesn't well, seem right. like it's because that's that's where the eyes for both of your groups are. Yeah, it seems like White needs that one just to find some sort of like base or something. Right, somewhere. and so do you. Yeah, that's where your eyes are. Hmm. My eyes. Right? Yeah. And you play them. You play the contact move because you're trying not to fight because you're playing a simple defensive move because that's what contact moves are. True. Because there's nothing magic about Joseki, right? For them, you can you can study them and learn them and all this, but they're they're just moves. Mm. They're just normal fighting moves. So you're playing R three because it's a defensive move because you don't want any trouble. And he plays R two because he it's an important point for the eye space of both his group and yours. Fair. 
Okay. Then you play. Yeah. Four, right? Yeah. And then I guess he has to go, like... Oh, I mean, maybe he could, like... No, but this is just for the eyes, just for life. Yeah. It's the standard shape for eyes and life, right? Yeah. And then you just want to cover him. So you can cover him. I'm gonna, I am I recommended not doing it. I recommended instead stretching on the right. Oh, just do that? Or even maybe that? Um, it's okay to cover him. Yeah. yeah. Covering him is fine. However, I think if you wanted to cover him, I prefer the variations where you just cover him. Ah. <laughs> Instead of making the exchanges. Fair. And we looked at those variations. They're they're complicated and messy, but they're fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you really want to cover him, you can do it. And it'll it gets rid of a lot of the mess. Sure. But sure. the thing is, you can always avoid the mess anyway, right? The, mm. the guy who can't avoid the mess is him. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Right. And now the evil stuff. No, this is this is very evil stuff, right? So, so if he plays B, there's actually no way for him to avoid mess. Um, well, actually, if he plays A, there's also no way for him. yeah he, he 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 can't avoid mess even if he wants to. You can avoid it, right? You can I can just do stretch that. And you're okay. Or if I go yeah. here, then he'll probably go here, and that's death. Well, this is the, this because is here, right? there, 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 there. Uh, he could he go like moves. here, I guess, and then. Oh, that's not that's not good. Oh, wait, don't play O two O two if he plays L five. Oh wait, this move first. Yeah, and then which move is the important one here? Well, I know it's the attach, but I feel like you need to. Ex no, you attach immediately. Oh, there, yeah, mm -hmm. and then he could. Do this and then kablammo. Right, exactly. So <laughs> why did why didn't you play O2? Oh, it kind of fixes the weakness, huh? Yeah, right, 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 exactly. And now you really need that weakness to be used to be there for you. Yeah. Right? So Fair, yeah. Right? So you don't play O2, you just play R R3. Okay. And then uh if he plays M2, then Then you play O2. Oh, hey, my, my wife's gone. I'm sorry, one sec. Hang on one sec. Take your time. Sorry.
All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Oh, okay. She was right. telling me about her. I mean, uh, mostly good anyway, right? Yeah, I'd say so. Um, let's oh, just... Maybe there's a little bit I wanted to point out about how you think about the shape that we were just talking about. So, the, what's the difference between M2 and uh, something like L4? Just how you think about it. Um, uh, let me take control here. Okay. So, when he plays this one, he's playing a move that's strong towards the center. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. So, the corner weakness is very important. Hmm. So, you do not make this exchange because that fixes the corner weakness. You can fix his center weakness, that's fine. And then you abuse the corner weakness. Yeah, true. Yes? Mm hmm. Right. When he plays this way, right, he's playing a move that's strong in the corner. the corner. Yeah, so he weakens the center. So you don't fix his outside weakness. This is wrong, right? Right. But instead, it's okay to fix this corner weakness and abuse the outside weakness. Ah, okay, that's the trick. Yeah, I see the Atari first, right. Stuff, it, it, this stuff, it makes sense. It's not just like moves that that are just things. They're, 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 they're actual, there's actual thought associated with them. Yeah, it does make sense. Yeah. Yeah. There, there's actual, you could, you could, these are, what I want you to get to the point of, and I mean, maybe not, maybe not these crazy variations, right? Okay. But most Joseki, when you study them, the way you want to do it is you want to mostly sort of follow the logic to the point where you feel like maybe you could have come up with this yourself. Hmm. That's a good point. That's what you want out of Joseki. Hmm. Get the feeling at the end of it that you could maybe you didn't come up with it, but you could have. Huh. Like you understand what the reasoning behind it is. Right? And the reasoning behind this is not like you know, you, you have to, in order to do this, you have to sort of understand that, that this is not a knockout. Hmm. That you're knocking him out, not vice versa, which requires some reading. Sure, sure, yeah. Because if you were actually captured, then this would be a problem. Hmm. Yeah, that would be Right, but you're not, away. right? He's the one who's busted. Oh, there's another variation here which we didn't look at. You will almost never see this at the Q level. They'll play this one instead. Um, it's also not good. So he strengthens uh, the corners, so the outside is still weak. So, right, so you just walk out here. Hmm. And then he extends. Um, so if he extends, this is going to look familiar to you? A and B. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. Right, so he's gonna like do something like this. This is also busted, and he still owes you this. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, if there's if there's any, if there's one thing that you're that that you're gonna take take out of this lesson is that you will be able to immediately spot this this uh, <laughs> <laughs> this <Gucci> here. <laughs> <laughs> true. A and B. This one shows up just over and over and over again in these. Uh, Takamoku Josekis. So it's called the A and B Tsuji. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, in the uh, James Davis uh, Tsuji book, he calls it ladder building. Mm. I have it's that the book. ladder building Tsuji. Oh. Because he's building a ladder here by threatening something here. Do you think that book is good for me? Uh, yes. Um, I think that the uh, James Davies Elementary Go series of books are, like, the whole lot of them are fantastic. I have the Attack and Defense one I'm working through again. Attack and Defense is probably my favorite Go book of all time. Um, but, Whoa. um... Yeah, maybe the first two about Joseki and opening theory, you can skip. Right. Uh, yeah. but... Tsuji is very good. Life and Death is very good. Uh, Attack and Defense is very good. And Endgame, they're all very good. Do you just read it like a book, just like normal? Just, or do you like do stuff? Uh, well, about Attack it? and Defense is a book. You just read it front yeah. to back. Um, 
Tsuji is uh Tsuji I think is maybe the one that will make the most immediate impact in your playing strength. Oh. Um it's sort of he shows you a Tsuji and yeah. then he shows you like 20 problems where this Tsuji is the solution. Hmm. And since he just showed you the Tsuji, you will immediately get the problems like it's going to be super super obvious. Maybe some of my but, Training should be read right. a chapter of Tsuji, you know, a day or something. Right, right. So the way the way that yeah. you the way that you almost should do it, I think, right. is you want to look at the problems before you read the before you read the content and see see how easy they really are, because they're gonna feel so ridiculously easy when you're play, when you're reading through the book, yeah. because yeah. it's the same stupid answer as the last time. Hmm. But those are not easy problems. All right. Hmm. So it's just like, right? Um, the Life and Death book, uh, you're going to recognize a lot of the content of that one. Um, he talks about killing shapes. That's where he introduces the terrible word bulky five and rabbity six instead of the turtle. Yeah, I like the turtle. <laughs> Turtle's better. Yeah, well, that's his terminology. That's straight up the, the, the terminology that everyone uses. It, as, far as, I can, as far as I know, um, came, came that him. book was the first time it was ever used. Oh. Like, that's where it comes from. He should have consulted you first. That was his first blunder. Yeah, he should have said, why am I calling this book? No, he came up with his own names. Yeah. Um, I mean, they have names in Japanese and Korean and Chinese, I'm sure, but he came up with English names. Yeah, yeah. Which I think is a good thing. I think coming up with English names, or with names that are not Asian, in Asian languages, is a very good thing. Uh, so he does that. Um, he also does L group, L plus one, L plus two, tripod, J group. Like, most of the life and death stuff that we've talked about is almost straight out of that book. I would believe it. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, the life and death book, um, it is probably the most boring to read. Uh, sure. Because it is kind of a... It's sort of like a life and death, like... Common life and death shapes encyclopedia. Hmm. Um, it is... Uh, I mean, the ones that I that I taught you are the ones that I think are by far the most important. Yeah, They're yeah. The ones you show up over and over again. He goes. There's more of them, right? Like you can, if you were to memorize that whole book, like you would be very, very good at real game life and death. <laughs> um, very, yeah. very good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the amount of stuff that, the amount of detail he goes into, I think, is more than necessary. Um, this is a lot of the thing that I always think about is often gotten wrong about things like the L group and the L plus one, and everyone's always interested in what happens if they have Alexa Hane, and what is the other thing, and like, mm. usually, like, to kill them, just remember, you know, the L group is dead, that's all you really have to know to kill the L plus ones. <laughs> Yeah, right. yeah, you gotta like. Yeah, that's what you really have to know, and you don't have to. I don't honestly don't believe you have to memorize the patterns to live with the L plus two. Hmm. Like, they're they're easy enough to read on their own if if you need to. Um, you know, I also don't think you have to remember the L plus one with a certain honey. Which variations are there? Yeah, um, yeah, true, true. So. I mean, you can, and they are different, but they're just not common enough that it matters. Hmm. I, I, you just aren't very often that you're going to see the L plus one with the Hane. Um, saying like J group with the Hane, like all that stuff, it, it, they're just not that common. You're, it's okay. It's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's with the stuff that I did, it should be enough for you because it's enough for me because I don't know that stuff either. Hmm, huh? Yeah. <laughs> And if you got to your I mean, level, then I probably don't need that then. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I I read the stupid thing. I don't remember that stuff. So, you know, it, it, it will have more than what yeah. you did with me. That, that's really my biggest thing um, is, like, just trying to remember everything people are teaching me. It's like, I have all these, you know, yeah, like... Yeah, yeah. Like you, yeah. I mean, so just, this is very much like you're, we're talking about this, these Takamoko Josekis. Um, this seems like... I mean, I... Seeing it now after like going over it today, like it doesn't feel as like out there complicated as I thought it would be, which is good. Right, that's kind of the main thing that I want to get here. Um, yeah. Yes, I do actually think this is something you could you would like to play. It looks fun. Um, yeah, 
I mean, A, it's fun. B, it jives very well with influence players. You like it. Mm. You're, you're very much an influence player yourself. I would and say so, this, yeah. This fits your style. Mm -hmm. um, it leads to a lot of sharp, close contact fighting, which is something you are very good at. Fair. Yeah. And it frequently will end up to, in positions where you can make, where you can comfortably make Moyos. I do like Moyos. <laughs> right. Well, I think, yes, this is something I would, I would like you to, like, I, I think you might like to play. So I should but, try this as, like, what would a, a, a setup on, the, like, a Fuseki look like? I guess if, like, black does double 4-4 four, four and white wants to try this, like, what would that look like? All right, so black does double 4-4, four, four, you do this. Black does another one, you do this one. Uh, and uh, <laughs> very often black is going to do this. And now I have... And now you spring this stuff on him and... <laughs> See what happens, yeah. And <laughs> see what happens, yeah. Uh, so I mean, he, at your level, uh, you know, black is probably gonna do something weird. Probably P three, I think he'd play. All right, so P three, um, right? So I mean, I, I I've given you my recommendation for P three. Uh, this is if you want to make things super complicated. If you if you look look through what we did, yeah, and are ready for it. But otherwise, you can just do this. There is a very good chance that your opponents will play this. I think. And then you murder him to death. Right. So if you know that, if you know that the, if you if you're comfortable with this, which works one hundred percent, he cuts. Uh, but if you're comfortable with it, yeah. then you do it. And if you're not, you can just go again. Yeah, you can just keep going, right? I can mean, we look at the? Walk to, Black's eventually probably gonna stop. Yeah. <laughs> right. Can we... He might play this or something. This is actually a pretty decent position for White right here. And then just approach, I guess, like C fourteen. Kind of yeah, thing. you can approach a C14. Um, Do you ever enclose your own? Or no? Oh, you be... can enclose your own. Yeah, you can enclose this one. Um, I usually you don't really want to. like doing this one. Oh. Uh, especially if I have a stone around here already. Primarily because I'm really hoping for this. So remember how we said that if you had these, this was going to go really poorly for black? Yeah. Right? Huh. So I'm kind of... It's not really poorly for black, but it's... Apparently now I remember it all. Um, <laughs> black can do this one if he wants, right? And then he goes here, right? And for instance, now you have both of them, so it is possible to try and kill here, but it's messy. Oh. Um, but you can also do this, right? Then he goes there. And, like your group is much easier to manage than his because he doesn't have any eyes. This is zero eyes. <laughs> yeah, he has to connect up or something. He has to connect up to this thing. Like it's it's not fun. <laughs> and then that C five group is still floating. He'll die, but it's. You can just push that around and get some center or some. Whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. You push him around, and you can. Attack this. You don't have to. You can try to kill it, but you don't have to, right? You can you can gently attack it and be very happy. I it, mean, so just uh, lean and do other stuff. You, you, you're gonna do this or something, right? And then maybe you play here. Hmm. And remember that this is Sente, so you're gonna respond, right? And this is fine. You're very happy that you got all these nice moves here, right? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> This is all, all, every single one of these stones. They're all helping, yeah. They're all. They're good. all doing. They're all making this group's life pain. Um, hmm. You're not gonna kill him, but he, he's not gonna be happy about whatever happens to it. I mean, you know, he's gonna. He'll he'll be okay with it, maybe. Yeah. Worst case, I'll play like thirty yeah. moves, like in Dame or yeah, something. Yeah, you're gonna have <laughs> for a while. You'll have an attack on that, right? I mean. Yeah. So this is one way. You can, this is one way you can play it. Um, you know, you can you can also just just approach here. This is fine. Right. Um, you also don't have to play double Takamoku. You can do one of them, and then maybe uh, this one. Hmm. This is also okay. Um, is... Usually, I kind of like this this formation. Uh, sort of the idea is that if you find them playing. 
sort of here, a lot of the time they're going to be sort of not quite sure what to do about this part of the board. Fair. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. Um, right. And you can, you can play this also. It works very nicely with uh, sort of that. Um, you can also pincer. Pincers work nicely with this. This is fun. Huh. Yeah. Um, particularly the really long pincers. Why? Right? Because the slightly short ones are a little, like, the cooperation with this, they're not. Ah. Right? So the really long ones, you're, you're, you're really not, like, putting too much pressure on that. You're putting a little bit of pressure. But the main thing you're interested in is, is coordinating with, the, with this. Hmm. And again, trying to bait him, see if he'll do this, uh, so you can spring nasty stuff on him. Um, mm -hmm. Right. Uh, you can also, this one, um, if you have something this close and he plays this, um, it is also not unreasonable to just do this, because usually the next move is this one and it's already there. It's an agonist, you know, yeah. You can either play away or you can try this stuff. Angle to Suji. Uh, <laughs> we didn't talk about this one, but... This is this is Joseki too, um, even without this move. Yeah. Uh, this is also Joseki, um, just just straight directly here. Um, without that move, usually it's a sacrifice. It's a bunch of outside forcing moves. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, good. It's to make it's to make center influence. However, when you have that move, you don't have to treat it like a sacrifice. You can treat it like this, and you're gonna say, okay, this group needs to show me eyes. <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna show you eyes, but you, you know, please show me eyes. I want to see them. You know, waste some time by defending it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, or you can even do this. I mean, right? Since you're safe on this side, you can play much stronger. Since you're safe on this side, you can play much stronger over here. Mm. Right. When you're not safe on that side. Uh. Right. When you're not safe on that side, then you can't really fight here. You have to sacrifice. And this is an okay pattern, by the way. I mean, you can... I didn't show you this one, but this is actually a pattern that exists and you can play. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, this, is, this wasn't part of, our, uh, of the main part of our lesson, but you can, you know, this, this actually works kind of nicely. Yeah, looks decent. Or you want to go full, full influence style, you know. <laughs> yeah. Sick, Let dude. him play here if he wants to and attack him. Um, it's not super easy to attack them. Right, right, yeah, right, right, yeah. Yeah, like maybe you even wanted this. I don't know. If you want, I think if you were going to do that, you might as well just do this. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, so you can do you. This is sort of like a very large scale kind of kind of play. You know, there's there's a lot of ways you can do this. Um, you can also you don't have to face this way. You can also directly face a stone if you want. Um. A lot of the time when you do this, um, this is a little bit, sort of the directly facing a stone is a little bit easier with black because you kind of really want to play A. Hmm. Right? So if he does this, it's not super obvious, like, because a lot of this is about influence sort of in that direction. Hmm. Right, which is why I frequently will like with white at least play the one that faces the empty corner, and if he wants this, that's okay now. Um, he no longer has this sort of structure, and mm. and now you can play this corner however you want. I kind of like this one. Oh. <laughs> um, cross Fuzeki's I really like San San moves. Uh, they're fun because huh. essentially you're saying that this corner, um, so. This is just philosophy of Go, like, you can play this any way you want, I'm not actually... This is just my style and things like that, but usually these parallel Fuzekis, you're really trying to coordinate things, right? You're trying to make this sort of be into a thing. Fair, right? yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the cross ones, um, you're not, right? Right. So the San San is not about coordinating with anything, it's just... Handle, just handle it now there. Give me territory now. Done. <laughs> well, not even territory, just eyes. Mm -hmm. Fair. Right? 
I mean, that, that's mostly what it is. It's, you, you take it and you forget about it. That's sort of the way you play Sansa. Um, so I kind of like them in cross positions. Right. And uh, now it's less of a problem if he does this. You can even do this, you know. This. Hmm. Um, you could you could uh, you could play it this way too. I mean, you know, if he if he does this, you can still do this. This is also perfectly yeah. okay. Really. Huh. All right, dude. Um, nice. Yeah, I'll go if try you want to spring weird stuff on your opponent, everyone always expects this one. Um, this exists. Huh. <laughs> uh, they will not. They will not know it. And if you've studied it, and you do, uh. You can sometimes get a small edge like this. Yeah, sure. I mean, I don't know it either. I've never played this. But it's a thing that exists. Uh, it is. You can find documentation on it. I'm not sure where. Maybe the OGS Joseki pages does, or maybe Josekipedia or something. You can look into it. Um, it's sort of an... If, if you want to do enclosure stuff and uh, you want your opponent to not be ready for it... Um, you don't have to play this every time. You can, you can, mm. you can try some stuff that they probably have not seen. Um, uh, I mean, a lot of a lot of playing uh, Takamoku is about going off the beaten path and uh, catching your opponent off guard. Um, they don't. They won't know. They, they don't play against this so often. I mean, do, do you play against this very often? Uh, n no, never. <laughs> no, right? They don't play against this very often. Yeah. So they're not quite used to it, and if you are, and you mm. know this better, um, then it becomes a weapon. Yeah. Nice, man. I mean, this is sort of the reason why we're not uploading this to YouTube, right? I mean... No, I don't want to show people this. <laughs> yeah, this, this makes you easy to prep against. It's particularly good, especially if, like, you're going to use it at tournaments or stuff, where really put the pressure on your opponents. They're like, what the hell is going on? Oh, yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Um, it's, um, yeah, and even if you're going to be playing like this, you know, even if this is your plan, which is perfectly okay and 100% playable and you can do this and nothing, there's nothing wrong with it, um, but when this is your plan, essentially what's happening is you're probably going to make them spend a fair amount of time just staring at this and wondering what's up. <laughs> yeah. Like, turn you into a clock advantage, you know? <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, you know, um, it's a perfectly fine move. It's objectively, you know, um, AI doesn't... It used to be considered... Before AI, it used to be considered sort of exotic but normal. Hmm. And I think now AI says that it's like minus 0 0.2 points. Yeah. You'll lose one-fifth of a point by playing this. And, uh... Which to me means, like, what 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 is one-fifth of a point and why do I care? Hmm. Fair. You can totally do it. Hmm. Right? I yeah. mean, just because people stopped playing it after AI doesn't mean AI refuted it exactly. That's not true. Plus, I, mean, I doubt. AI doesn't even need it. It's like okay, you know, it likes the other ones better. That's all it's doing. That's all it says. Yeah. There you go. Cool. Yeah. So, um, but more to the point, what I wanted you to get out of this lesson was about how to think about Joseki and how to study them. Hmm. Even if it doesn't, even if it wasn't these ones, um, it should give you a feel for why Joseki in general is a good thing to study. Hmm. Even the Joseki you don't plan to ever play in your life. Just learning about like why people do some moves will be like, oh, it's because that group's weaker. This is understand important. How the, understand how the moves work um, because they're teaching you to fight. Right, right, yeah. I mean, so we were, we were talking about like here, right? Uh, whoop. Right? Right, right, yeah. Uh -huh. Now we have like... A is stronger towards the corner, so you do, so, so you care about the outside and you're willing to, right? Mm -hmm. Since he's stronger towards the corner, you're not actually going to abuse the corner weakness. So it is okay to fix it to get some extra liberties because the outside weakness is the one you want. Huh. Right? Right. And this one is stronger towards the center, which means 
you're not actually going to abuse the, uh, the center weakness, so, so it's okay to fix him to get some extra stuff because the corner is the one you want. All right, all righty. Okay. Right. Uh, yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah. This kind of thinking, I mean, just see if you can figure that stuff out when you're, when you're studying Joseki. It will teach you a lot about how to fight in general. Fair. Okay. Right? You don't yeah. study Joseki necessarily in order to play them. Hmm. This is one you actually would like to play. Like, that's why I showed this one to you. Um, I think it suits you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you, you specifically gave me homework of picking you a strategy for, like, white. And this is one that works for white, it works for black. It suits, I think, your personality. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So, you know, I, that, I, I did my homework. Thank you, um, brother. I appreciate you. <laughs> yeah. More important than that is about, like, sort of how you study. Hmm this stuff you don't have to necessarily you don't even necessarily have to remember a lot of the joseki you study you just sort of have to understand how the process works what why the joseki moves are the ones they are it tells you and it, it will train you quite a lot to understand to think about your own fights fair all right brother i'm gonna go take a little break and then come back and try out some of these uh in, in some games. oh you're gonna try this stuff yeah yeah i'll send you some stuff later <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's some, there's some absolutely nasty stuff in there. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You know, take your time. Don't, don't try to swallow it all at once. Um, the, the really important stuff that will make you a better player is about mid game fighting. I mean, that's, that's what's going to make the difference, not opening theory. However, mm -hmm. uh, this opening theory, learn it in the way of training for mid game fighting is very, very useful. Hmm. That's what Joseki is good for. Um, Fuzeki can go and drown in a lake if it wants, but Joseki is very, very useful because it trains fighting. Huh. All right, all right. <laughs> I'm excited. Yeah, thanks for the lesson today, man. It was awesome. I'm excited. All right, take yeah, care. This is great. See you later. Bye. Bye-bye.